What up, bitches? It's a misanthropic one, a.k.a. He Who Hungers. And I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Before I get into the topic of this video, y'all know the deal. Follow me on BitChute, Brideon, and um, Odyssey, which I created today. Also, Parlor, you can find me on there as well. <clears throat> BitChute and Brideon, I'm under the misanthropic one. On uh, Parlor, I'm Misanthropic Hungers, and uh, Odyssey, Misanthropic One as well. But I'm currently uploading all my videos there right now. It's taking a while. Um, and share this video everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Upvote the shit out of it too, by the way. Share this everywhere so we can fight the YouTube algorithm and censorship as well. All right. Um, First off, shout out to my boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. I saw you did a video on this subject. And I was like, oh, I got to do this one myself. I got to put my own spin on this. I did not watch your video because I didn't want to steal any of your, your shit. I don't want to be influenced by it. So um, after I upload this, then I will go back and watch your video. But love you, my brother. Um, Yes, so Willie D versus Kevin Samuels. Uh, Willie D, a lot of y'all should know <clears throat> from the Ghetto Boys, um, legendary rap group. Check them out. I have all their music over here. Uh, Kevin Samuels, some people may not be familiar with him. He is big on YouTube. Uh, I'm, I'm subscribed to this dude. Um, I don't know how to classify him. He's, uh, I don't know. Do some of y'all know who uh, Alpha M is? Aaron Marino. Uh, he's a, a big YouTuber. I believe he has over a million subscribers. Uh, he basically talks about uh, life and um, grooming and uh, how to approach women, stuff like that. He's one of these, I guess you would call him like a life life coach or so, so, uh, something to that extent you know going to the gym doing all that kevin samuels is in a similar lane and um i watched some of his videos in the past um i haven't watched anything lately but i saw he went viral uh, a few days ago off of some video and um it, it look to me the video was common sense i'm gonna get into it in a minute and um you know, a lot of people are uh, offended by the video. Let me move this camera over. There we go. Yeah, a lot of people are are fake offended by the fucking video. And um, there's no reason for it. And uh, one of the people who kind of took umbrage with, with the video was um, Willie D from the Ghetto Boys. And... Um, he has a channel on here called Willie D Live. Um, he talks about a lot of social stuff. Um, I don't really agree with the guy a lot of the times. I really don't, uh, to be honest. Uh, he's one of these, you know, he's a celebrity with TDS. Uh, so, you know, once you start going in that direction, I kind of zone out. Um, but anyway, let's get into this thing that went viral, okay? So... Kevin, uh, Kevin had a, uh, a show or whatever that was going on, and uh, this girl called in and basically was asking, you know, the same thing that it's very common with women that want this. Women, um, not all women, by the way, so let me get that out of the way. I don't want any of you chicks coming down here saying, oh, it's no, I know it's not all, but this chick has a very common question, you know, unrealistic expectations. Uh, yeah, I want to, uh, for example, I want a, a nigga that's like 6'1", shredded abs, uh, 200 pounds, makes $8,000 $8, an hour, this and that. Essentially what this woman asked for, I believe, was a, a, a dude that makes uh, six or seven figures, I believe, got this taken care of, blah, 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 blah. And um, Kevin Smith was giving her the real deal Holyfield. He wasn't holding back. 
you know, and um, she, well, okay, let me get into Willie D. I'm trying to piece this together in a way that it goes in sort of order. Willie D um, basically was doing the same thing I'm doing, talking about the video, and it got to a point where Willie D goes, because the, the reason the, the, the video went viral is because Kevin Samuel said to the girl, well, you're average at best. You know, you're going to die alone and, and shit like that. So um, Willie D says, well, you know, I, I, I can't stand when average people or people that don't look that good will sit and say that um, other people are average or this and that. Yeah, that's fucked up and this and that. And it's ridiculous. So I'm going to address that. That was basically where I honed in on uh, where I have a, I take umbrage with Willie D. Because if you listen to the uh, whole thing, the girl, uh, Kevin Samuels asked her, hey, what do you consider yourself? This, mind you, this is after the girl asked put her expectations of this dream guy that she wants he says what do you look at yourself as on a scale from one to ten and he goes and i'm and don't say seven and the reason why he says that is because a lot of women see that as a high average so in, in order not to uh, to seem conceited they'll always go ah seven you know what i mean so he goes don't say seven so the girl goes, well, you know, when I wake up in the morning, I'm a five. But when I get done up, I'm a six. So he goes, oh, so so average. Which that's what it is. It's average. So basically, you know, they were talking back and forth. And he goes, look, I'm going to be real with you. Guys that you're looking for with that type of income, they, they're, they're not looking for average chicks. They're not. Your average at best. That's why he said it. <laughs> so I don't understand why Willie D got upset and said, yeah, you know what? Average people shouldn't be saying that about. And by the way, that happens all the fucking time with men. Look, I don't think I'm, I'm that good looking. I really don't. However, I strive for the best that I could get. I'm not going to turn something down that's that i'm attracted to in order to say well i'm on this level so i'm gonna stay on this level no willie d you should know that you're you're a celebrity you know what i mean <laughs> so if you're gonna uh, have a chance to get with a, a fine looking big titty fat ass chick you're jumping into that so don't say well you know uh, a guy that's average shouldn't be saying that about an average chick. Why not? It's true. <laughs> it's true. Why? Why? Why should he censor himself in order to appease people's feelings? That's not who he is. You understand? Um, well, where else was I gonna go with this? Then he went into you know he tried to make the analogy Willie D with oh that's like uh. You know, Donald Trump saying that, uh, you know, I, I need it. I have more intelligence. Today. You know, and once, you know, again, once you go into your TDS territory, I lose it. I just, I just can't take it. So, you know, and I, I, I kind of know why Willie D is doing this because he has a, a black audience, particularly nowadays, black female. So he can't really upset them. You know what I mean? But he knows what the real deal is. You understand? Like, I, I wish people would stop simping and just be fucking 100% honest. Because guess what? The real chicks are going to come deal with you. People like Kevin Samuels. And let me, you know what? I, I pulled up his page so y'all could see it. Whoops. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Is this it? There we go. So you can see, this is my man right here. That's Kevin Samuels. And this is his uh, website called By Kevin Samuels. 
Kevinsamuels.com. B-Y, Kevin Samuels. So he got a little, little business going on here. So if any of y'all need help, this is where you go. You come over to my man, get some advice and some tips on your shit. Step your, step your game up. But yeah, um, yeah, all that simping shit, especially when it comes down to, to, to black women. Nah, just be fucking honest. Oh, well, women in general. Be fucking honest. Yeah, the girl's asking. And by the way, the girl even acknowledged. She goes, yeah, I'm a fan. You know, I listen to your show all the time. So she knows, like, we, we don't need to defend this chick. She knew what she was getting into. She knew exactly what she was getting into. You, If you wanted the raw truth, you're going to get it. And then the other thing, let me cut this off. Damn, I love to ramble. The other thing that uh, kind of uh, I got to I gotta take issue with is the fact that Willie D said um, he kind of gave women the the out at the end. He, go, um, he was like, oh, uh, was it his delivery? You know, and that's an argument that Willie D, of all people, you should not be, t- that shouldn't even come out of your mouth. Because if anybody is taking two seconds to listen to any Ghetto Boys music or any Willie D album, delivery should be the last thing <laughs> that you use as a scapegoat for these people to feel a certain type of way. I'm sorry. Uh, Willie D is, is, is a hardcore MC. So please, I'm not giving a woman an out for that. You wanted the real, you got it. And that's the way it is. So anyone who took offense to that shit, uh, fucking phone. Anyone who took offense to that shit, hey man, listen, you need to grow a, a thicker skin. Shout out to Kevin Samuels. Keep it fucking G, keep it real. Don't worry about what the naysayers are saying, and that's all I got to say. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. Shout out my brother, O'Shea Duke Jackson. If you're not subbed to him, go over there and sub to him, all right? That's it. Peace, bitches.